this time to snap it good. Hendricks in the wreck. And Williams finally got it loose. Theo Bell is also loose. Kevin House, I'm sorry, and after not making a first down all day, the Bucks not only have a first down, but a touchdown. As Doug Williams got it airborne. Kevin House. A touchdown pass from the rifle arm of Doug Williams. And Kevin House was out there man to man on Lester Hayes, and Kevin House can run. John McKay was telling us last night that he can run 4 4 or maybe 4 3 5. Now, watch this. He's out there on the outside. See, Lester is up on him man to man. When House gets by him, now all it is is a foot race. House wins the foot race there. Lester Hayes misses a tackle, and it's a jaunt into the end zone. Amazing development in Oakland as the Buccaneers up until that point had not made a first down, let alone a touchdown. Now they have both. Bill Capice snapped it through, and it's 15-7 in favor of Oakland. And how quickly things can change, John. Watch again from the shotgun. Williams just took three steps back. Looked like he put everything he had on that ball. A perfect pass to Kevin House. You know, that's one thing, John. And the Bucks, in spite of how mm -hmm. the Raiders have dominated things so far, are getting themselves back into this football game. A minute 53, a minute 50 left in the second, uh, in the third quarter. There's Derek Jensen here now. He looks like a full bet. See, good sweat, a lot of sweat, little cut on the nose, bandage, hair down in your face. That's great. <laughs> that's a full bet. Here's a quarterback. That quarterback goes deep again. Kevin House again and out of bounds as the Buccaneers come roaring back. House looked like he almost pulled a hamstring muscle. He did come up with a pass, and it was another perfect shot from Williams. A perfect shot. I think he was trying to type rope on that sideline. Watch, he's on man-to-man. -man. Lester Hayes, number 37. Lester didn't get a bump. It's just a foot race. Now, look what he did wrong. He turned to the in inside. How sad is that? He can't stay in bounds to just keep him going bad. The tough thing, when things go bad, turn him around. Have to start throwing on almost every down. A draw here and there. Outside Wilder with some room. James Wilder, first down. Wilder still roaring into open territory. First down, Bucks. Hendricks ran him down, but the Buccaneers have the big momentum going now. He almost broke this. They're really conscious of the wide receivers now, and they're giving room underneath here. He hits Wilder. Now watch Hendricks come right here. See, he cuts here. Now he's breaking. There's no one else behind here. If Hendricks does make that tackle, Williams again gets him out quickly. Two tight ends again, Obradovich and Giles. Williams looking, hoping. Giles, touchdown, Buccaneers. Jimmy Giles gets them closer. What a turnaround in Oakland. I'll tell you, and that was good pass protection because on that one, Doug Williams had time. He had all Oakland Raiders, and the second half has been uh, Doug Williams and Tampa Bay. Ignited by that 77-yard touchdown pass from Williams to Kevin House. Two tight ends again. Williams quickly outside the house. He might be going again. Kevin House streaking down the sideline. House is back down to behind by Fergus Owen. As the Buccaneers have really roared back. Interesting, John, I watched Doug Williams in addition to watching House. As soon as this was over, he headed for the sidelines to get the next play. Look at this one. They missed tackle. Now, I'm surprised that anyone would catch Kevin House here, but Burgess Owen does from behind. That looks like first down. Now it's 15-13 in favor of Oakland, and the Buccaneers have come back and captured the momentum, and they're about to capture the lead if Bill Capice can hit out of Larry Swider's hole. This field goal will put them ahead. And indeed it does. The Buccaneers 16, the Oakland Raiders 15. And where did they come from? Bill Capice, the small, youngish-looking kicker from Florida State who replaced Darryl Premium has just hit perhaps the biggest field goal of his professional career. There's no doubt about it.
the excitement in this stadium and Chris Barr, I've never seen a kicker make a field goal and sprint off the field the way he did. That, he looked like a drum major at the way he went off the field. <laughs> he really did. Look at these fans, they love that. Watch this. Watch the way he runs. Watch this. Look, he looks like the drum major. You ought to be leading the band. <laughs> There's Mark Wilson in there. Did you see number six patting him on the head? He was the first one. He said, thank you for that one. First down, Buccaneers at their own 32. Doug Williams, who's had a great second half. We'll try again. A lot of time. Williams has Giles. And Giles is back in field goal range for Tampa Bay. Inside the 30 to the 27. Otis McKinney, the defender. No, you don't want, yeah, two minutes. Just take the two minutes. You don't need a timeout. No, you can't call a play. It's just automatic timeout here now. Okay, Doug Williams can get it back fast. He has good pass protection. He gets it up to Giles, and as you said, Giles has the field goal. They're certainly in range. What a game. Doug Williams, 14 out of 26 for 300. 23 yards now after almost zilt first half. So indeed the Buccaneers just used their last timeout. Capice not even standing close to the other people. His holder is Larry Swider. That's a long timeout. I'll tell you, he had a smile there. Did you see Bill Capice? He had a little smile. Maybe he likes it. You know, I have a philosophy that that players that like to show off excel in these types of situations. That's the play that got him close. Jimmy Giles touchdown. This is 31 yards away for Capice. Larry Swider holding. No good. I don't know who it is, but I bet it was Ted Henry. He, he does that. <laughs> Look at these fans. They said, we've been awfully dry here for three weeks. A lot of bad things happened to us, but now something good. Let's see if we can see it right here. See if it's 83, Ted Henry. It is. Indeed it is. And there he is, and he's one of those guys. I really think the guys that like to show off make those types of plays. Ted Hendricks makes big plays when they need it. There's a reaction that we were talking about. We knew it would be one type of reaction or the other. We're seeing the one that he didn't expect. Ted Hendricks made that penetration, got that big, long, strong arm up, and deflected the kick. The field goal tried by Capiz. And now, after a stunning turnaround, the Buccaneers will go home in a sad airplane. They'll be happy and open. Mark Wilson kneels, and that'll do it. Mike Burke says produce. The executive producer is Terry O'Neill. The senior producer, Mr. Red Eye, Charles Milton. Mike Brooks, as I mentioned, on the scene, always does so well, as does his counterpart, the director, Sandy Grossman. What a pleasure. John, always a pleasure. Thank you. Well, I sure enjoyed it, Pat. Thank you. Right now, let's say goodbye from here and go to Brent Musburger in New York.